I call Marima Fox. Ah, tēnā koe e te mana whakawā. O tātou mate e Tsuatini, e takoto mai ai i rungi i o tātou marae maha, i rungi i o tātou papakainga, i rotu i o tātou whare, ko uhia rātou ki ngā tau matakōrero e te kiana hei poropoaki i a rātou. O ti rā, ki a koe e te parata ki awa me tō whānau, e te ka memehi atu ki a koe. Ano nga kai te kāinga e tahi e tako tō mai rā i rungi o rātou marae. Nā reira e tika me poroparaki ki a rātou katoa. Nā reira me ki pēnei. Tuku a rātou ki a oki oki i runga i te tō rātou moe ngā rua. Tēnā rā koutou mā ko wehe ki tua o te ārai. Haere ki ngā ringa mā hano o te atua. Haere atu rā... Ki te kāinga o tātou katoa, anō nā ko tātou te hunga ora, te hunga tūtuki o rātou nā wawata, tēnā tātou katoa. I have to admit, as I've sat here today, I've felt a little emotional about the things that I've been listening to. I have to admit that it feels a little strange and a little foreign. I stand here as a young new member, young, say that one more time, new member of the House, yeah, and I'm facing you, but our people are behind me. And I want to acknowledge you. Kia ora rā, koutou e noho kai muri nei, kai te tiro atu ki mua, kia ki te koutou i ngā pōka whakātara. I have felt a little emotional as these things have been read because I acknowledge, although this process has taken some 30 years to arrive to this point, how many of our ancestors have lost their lives uh, throughout the tribulation that has been impacted upon them. I want to pay tribute to those who began the journey here and those who have gone before us. Those who started with the vision to begin this long process and who now live in memory and the presence of their children who represent them here today, tēnā koutou. E te mana whakawā, this is this day is my first in the House to fully feel the impact of the treaty and justices from this side of the ledger as representatives of Parliament. I'm no look longer looking on. All of us in this chamber are now implicated in the harsh realities of the treaty impacts that endure in the hearts and minds of our people. And I need look no further than the first pages of the bill to see that tragic reality articulated in the text of the apology. And I uh, seek leave, I'm going to read this. Te te reo Māori kua. Te whakapāha a te karauna, ki ngā uri o ngā tikuri, ki ngā mātua tūpuna, ki a koutou kei konei i te nei rā, ki e rā kāri anō ki a whānau mai, ko i a te nei ko te whakapāha, a te karauna. E whakatakoto here kore. E whakatakoto here kore ana te karauna i tōna whakapāha. Mo ōna hapa, mo tōna he, ki te kore ōna i a te whakamana, whakaranga tira hoki, i a ngā tikuri. He a huatanga matāpono, he a huatanga matāpono kore tēnei. Wai hoki ka noho a ngā tikuri anō, he kano hi kite a kore. I rotu i ngā kōrero, i ngā whakapapa, o te āhurea, o te hiku, o te ika. What does it do to the heart of a people and the hope of a people to be rendered invisible? How does a people cope with the cruelty of being unable to act as tangata kaitiaki over your own taonga? to be prevented from taking up your responsibility and your rights of kaitiakitanga over your wahi tapu. How do an iwi reconcile the conundrum of being tangata whenua without whenua? Of coming from the very land that has been stripped away by the compounding effects of successive flawed land legislation. Acts of legislation stealth which robbed Ngāti Kuri of their rights to their traditional tikanga and rangatiratanga, having the effect of leaving them marginalised on their ancestral land. It is soul-destroying. 
It hits at the very heart of our nationhood to know that one partner to the treaty, the Crown, acted in a way to the other, the iwi, which caused them to suffer the loss of tribal authority, of social cohesion, to lose their traditional knowledge, to be unable to develop economically. Today, this bill starts off a new journey, but a journey nevertheless which must be grounded in the knowledge that Ngāti Kuri suffered significant population losses and that the people were found floundering in poverty, poor housing and deep distress over successive generations as a direct result of Crown action. Te ao pauri, Ngāti Kahu, Ngāti Kuri, Te Rarawa, Te Rawa, Ngāi Takoto, will never forget. We in this House must never forget. We will only be able to move forward together if together we confront the atrocities of our past. E te mana whakawā and Māori legend, this land formed the tale of the fish that Māori hauled up from the great depths of the ocean. Elders from Muri Whenua sometimes say that although the head of the fish is here in Wellington, it can only go where the tail <coughs> will allow. <laughs> there are I've been thinking about the wisdom of the philosopher Isaac Newton. If I have seen further than others, it's because I'm standing on the shoulders of giants. And in this cause, there are many giants. Dame Fina Cooper, whose kōrowai, worn in the land marches, is on loan to us here in Parliament and lies just down the hall in a glass case. Machurata, Dame Mira Sazi, many, many penfold, and too many to mention that their efforts have forever etched their names in our collective memory. This moment is dedicated to all those who watch over us in spirit, who inspire and encourage us to seek further, to be bold and courageous for their mokopuna. This bill gives effect to the covenants that have been reached between the Crown, Ngāti Kuri, Te Aupauri, Ngai Tokoto, uh, Te Rarawa. These are specifics pertinent to each iwi. These recognise the soul-crushing misfortune set upon them at the hands of the Crown. Other speakers have taken us through that trail of torture. Uh, we have heard about the corrupt intent of the Crown in private purchasing, which alienated Ngāti Kuri from over 70% of their ancestral land by 1880. We acknowledge the injury caused to Te Aupauri as a direct result of the 1840 Taylor transaction, taking 60,000 acres of land through forced seizure. We think of the harsh impacts for generations of Ngai Takoto finding themselves virtually a landless people, having lost all interest in approximately 155,000 acres of ancestral land. For Te Rarawa, the crime of the Crown, are forced upon Maraia Te Awaroa Heke, arrested, jailed, and never compensated for merely protecting the boundaries around her own hapu lands. The queer died before the court took the action it should have. But to add old insult to injury, the block was further subdivided, taken by the Crown as an esplanade for public use. At the Manawa Whakawa, I want to return to the actual text in this bill. Mā roto atu i tēnei whakaaturanga e whaiana te karauna i te huarahi hei whakatika i ona he, ko whakai nei eia. Ki aua he, o ti rā e tai ai e, i nai nei te whai te hurahi o te whakatau hua hua o te whakakotahi anō. In this house today, with the enduring impact of the settlement to come, the Crown seeks to begin the process of reconciliation. The Crown hopes that by recognising the impact and the injury of injustice, that they, we, can begin a renewed and enduring relationship, an invigorated relationship, based on mutual dignity and respect. As a nation, we must look eyes wide upon the knowledge that the spiritual relationships of the people of Tehuku with their ancestral maunga, takiwā and awa have been adversely affected. Tehiku, our utmost respect, is accorded to you and your leadership, to your whānau, so willingly, so generously, so bravely, to the process of settlement. Your whānau, your negotiators, your people, for incredible tenacity, endurance and courage to get to this stage. Nō reira o kūpau o kūrahi, kautau e hui mai nei roto i tēnei whare, kautau o kūhua o te takiwāra, 
tēnei te mehi atu ki a koutou, tēna koutou, tēna koutou, tēna tātou katoa. A point of order, Kelvin Davis. Uh, Mr Speaker, I seek leave to table two letters from Te Ruranga a iwi o Ngāti Kahu um, outlining their concerns with the bill. Leave a sort for that purpose. Is there any objection? There is no objection. Ko Penny Hanari. Tanakwe. Tanakwe.